Okay, what we're going to talk about in this video is uh, how to troubleshoot a basic system, whether it be like a three-point system, um, grinder mixer, or say a three-point grain cart, or a four-bar uh, seed tender, or say it's a five-bar grain cart. Some of these simple principles will apply and this video should help you circumvent a lot of the problems that you might encounter as far as uh, saving time. First thing to do is uh, always weigh around on the equipment first. If you do this, you can kind of tell uh, where the problem would lie. So if you see uh, one spot um, that is weighing completely light um, or heavy or is giving you an error message or anything like that, Try to eliminate the problem. So how you would do that is take and disconnect all but one of the weigh bars and zero out the scale and see if it does zero out. If it zeroes out on the first one, then you can go through one through four or one through three or however many weigh bars you have and you can check them out one by one. If one of them doesn't want to zero or gives you an error message, that's probably where the problem lies. And then you can check the cable going all the way back from the connector to the weigh bar to see if there's a problem there. If you're not getting anything definitively that way, then you can move on to the tap test. The tap test will probably show you if you have a loose gauge. So what you would do with this is you would zero out the monitor and then tap on the sensor can, which is the wide portion of the weigh bar. That's where all the electronics are housed. If you tap on this, it's going to cause vibration, and then you'll see the indicator either increase in weight or decrease in weight if there's a problem. So to do this, you probably would use a rubber mallet. That's probably the best course of action, or you can use the handle of the hammer. That would also be sufficient in this scenario. So if you tap on the bar and it holds steady at zero, if you don't really see an increase in weight, your bar is fine. If you do see an increase or decrease in weight, you have a problem. Another test that you can administer on say a five pin system Waitronics, you can troubleshoot it through using a multimeter, which is in the bottom right of the screen. What I do is I typically take and make this a, as a reference to a clock and we go around the clock going clockwise A through E, alpha to echo, and uh, diagnose uh, the ohms and getting a measurement and a reading from there. So if you look, the notch at uh, 12 o'clock should be a reference point, so there's usually a cutout there. That's the red um, line going up at the top. Directly below that will be your 12 o'clock pin. That's the A pin. And then the B pin is roughly at 2 o'clock. The C pin is at 5. And then the D is at 7. And then the 10 o'clock pin um, is E. So E is at 10 o'clock. The combination, if you see there below the diagram, A to C should be 350 ohms. So if you have your multimeter, switch it over to the upside down horseshoe looking symbol that stands for omega and then you can measure the ohms and you can take each one of your test pins there the red or the black and have it either way so if you have the negative or the positive um, tester it doesn't really matter and then uh, like I was saying earlier you go from A to C positions and you should get 350 ohms followed by going from B to D, and that should be 350 ohms as well. And then you can go from that E position to every pin, so E to A, E to B, E to C, E to D, and it should be open, so you should get no reading. And then after you do this test, if you see where you're pretty close within, say, uh, 5% of that 350 ohms, you're probably okay. If you get uh, twice the reading, if it's at 700, then you probably have a bad weigh bar, most likely is what I would say at that point. 
The next thing to be aware of is the color code for ohms. So sometimes if you have a Digistar or a Waitronics, you may not have that connector. Well, you can do the ohms test still by just using the color scheme. So you'd go red to white should be 350 ohms, green to black, and this is Waitronics, uh, should be 350 ohms, and then shield to all should be open. And then on the Digistar way bar, uh, ending, you would go green to white should be 350 ohms, red to black should be 350 ohms, and then shield to all should be open as well. Uh, the junction box would look something like this for a spring-loaded one. This is a Waitronics one. The Digistar one is fairly similar. You'll see that it has a um, board on the inside and then it has a place for all the connectors. On the back side of this top lid you will see the color code. Make sure that the color code matches up according to A, the indicator, and B, the way bars. Make sure that the way bars are all the same. And if you get in a scenario where you have a different brand of way bar working with a team of, say, like if you have three Waytronics bars and one Digistar bar, make sure that you, all you do there is just invert the red and the green. Um, so that way the bars all weigh the same. So all the bars will be wired up on the Waytronic side will be wired up the same. The Digistar will be different just in the green and the red, for example. Or vice versa if you run into the Digistar and then um, one Waytronics and that same thing, you invert the green and the red. If you have a junction box that has the five pin plugs on the outside, it'll look like, uh, like this, for example. And that coordinates with how many way bars you have, how many ports that would be on there. So this scenario, um, you can take and, and unplug and weed out which way bar is the one that's giving you trouble. And may just make sure that your main lead that comes out of this box that plugs into the main scale head, make sure that that's working and uh, you should be fine. So hopefully this video benefits you um, in some facet to maybe save some time when trying to troubleshoot your scale system.